Hello guys and welcome back to Madfire on channel. So in this tutorial series we are going to create a simple puzzle game. In this series we are going to check 8 direction swipe control which will be used to move our player level generation from level data then grid system and many more things. The entire project is available on github the link will be in the description and if you want premium version of this project which has extra features in it like add mob unity ads level editor 100 plus ready to go levels then you can go to my patreon page and get the premium project and in this way you will also support this channel so without any further delay Let's get started. So as you can see here guys, I have created a Unity project and in my project I have few folders. So there is no asset and it is a fresh project. So first thing what we will do is we need to create a structure or class. Uh, which will handle our grid logic so in our scripts folder right click and create a new c sharp script and let's call it grid okay so double click on it to open it in any code editor okay so first thing we will do is uh, we will add it in our namespace so we'll create a namespace and i will call it line paint Our grid will not be a mono behavior as it will store only the data about the grid like what is the width and height of a grid as well as what are the how many number of columns we have. So I will just remove this mono behavior inheritance and even this. So here we first create a private int for storing our width and height then we have a float which will store our cell size then we also create a private 2d int array so basically this is used for like uh, storing how many uh, cells we are going to have so we create this array and we make a public int uh, 2d array for our grid array and we will create a getter for it uh, because we need to use this information in our other script as well so that's why we are creating a getter then we have a method called initialize now initialize method will take three parameters one is width one is height and one is cell size and then we assign the respective parameters to our width height and cell size and then we create or initialize our grid array which is a 2d array okay so now we need to use this thing in one of our script so for that we will create a new we'll go to our unity editor in our scripts right click and create a new c sharp script and let's call it level manager again double click to open it in editor and we again uh, put it in our namespace So in level manager, first we need to create our grids. For that, Bye. 
so here uh, we are creating three variables one is for width uh, then height and then cell size and we are making them serialized field so that we can edit it from inspector then we create a private grid and then in our start method we create a grid so grid is equal to new grid and then we initialize it so grid dot initialize and we pass in the width the height and the cell size uh, we need to show some visual as well right uh, to show like how our grid looks so for that we'll create a new uh, serialized field and for now we will call it private game object and it will be a uh, block prefab okay and we need to instantiate it basically we have to create our grid Okay, so here we will create a new method uh, called create grid and we will copy this and paste it here. Now we loop, uh, we have a for loop. So in first for loop, we loop through the x which is our grid array get length 0. So this 0 is nothing but in our grid, we have this private 2D array int. So the 0 is this one. So the first, uh, what you can say, the first element which is zero. So when we call get length zero, it will get the length of this uh, array first array, and then when we call get length one, it will get length of this array like this. So currently we have instantiated our block, but we have not assigned it its position. So for that we have to first convert our quads so this x and y are nothing but the coordinates of our grid so we need to convert that coordinates into our world position so for that we need to go to our grid and we have to create a new method for it Okay, so here we create a new public uh, method uh, get cell world position and it returns a vector 3 and it has a two uh, parameters int x and int y. Basically, these are the coordinates. So, what we return is we create a new vector 3. Our x will be our cell size into our x. So, let's say our block is at uh, coordinate 2 comma 2 and our cell size is 1 then the position will be x will be 2 and our y 0 and our z will be cell size into y which will be 2 so like that so let's go back to our level manager now we have our coordinates uh, now we have our world position so we'll just set up our block so our block dot transform dot position is equal to grid dot get cell world position and pass the x comma y and as you can see here uh, we are using x for our x and our y for our z now as it is a 3d game uh, we need to make sure our blocks are position in x and z axis and that's why we are setting our y to 0 and our z is equal to this thing so if we go back and let's say okay so right now we have the code we need to create a block prefab so for that we will go back to our unity editor 
and we create a new empty game object and we call this level manager and let's try our level manager to it okay so you can see here we are missing this prefab so we'll create a new uh, cube and we'll call this block and our cube will be of size 111 okay y will be 0 0.25 block okay this one i think we don't need any collider because we are not going to detect any of them and then we will just drag it into our prefab folder to create a prefab of it and i will just delete this thing go to our level manager drag the prefab here and cell size will be one guys uh, we are not going to change our cell size because there is no need for having very different types of cell size so one will be perfect if you go less or beyond i think it will cause some issues so set it to one and that's it in our width let's say it is three comma three and if i click on play we should see our grid here so as you can see our grid is created so if i click you see here so we have a like created nine game objects as you can see okay so our grid is creating uh, nicely we also need to arrange our camera as well so that our camera focus on our uh, grid so in our main camera we will call this game camera because we are going to have two cameras so one is for game camera and one is for some other purpose 